Well, hi folks. December 16th. Sort of a windy evening, rainy day. All on the island, Northern Island. Trust everybody's fine. Just uh, a couple quick things today. I have uh, three, uh, three links. I might add a couple more in the description end, but uh, I thought I'd keep it shorter today. And uh, the first one is about about the whole money, the whole financial situation. And it's uh, a gentleman out of Switzerland. And uh, I get his newsletter and I find it rather intriguing. And so I thought maybe I'd just share that with everybody. Let everybody see what he's talking about. It's called The Death of Money. And, uh, well, there was actually a book written about that a few years ago, The Death of Money. Uh, interesting stuff, so I'm worth a read. Then, of course, uh, you know, we ha I think I spoke about the fellow who was, uh, had looked at a couple of our links and uh, was going, had written a long, well, not a long, but a trustee about how, uh, how tin hat all of this stuff is. And uh, he's an educated person, professional. And so I uh, didn't answer until today because uh, I was thinking about it. You know, you're always, when someone throws, th throws horseshoes out, you want to make sure how close they are to the pin. So I was doing some, uh, just some checking to see how close his facts, if there was any, any justification or anything that would sort of justify what he said. And really couldn't find much. Um... This gentleman was totally enamored with the, with all of the scientists and all of the experts. And uh, if we should be following what they say from the World Health Organization all the way on down. And it's intriguing because there's a link today, and I've got a link in this, uh, in the, in the uh, second link. It's, uh, Rebel News again, I mean, these people go where, where all of the <laughs> mainstream media just don't show up. They don't show up. The one about the Chinese pilots training in Red Deer, uh, nobody is talking about that on mainstream. Uh, Rebel News is talking about it. They actually sent a fellow down there. And so anyway, today they have, uh, there was a, the two top doctors in Ontario. People recommending recommending uh, all the dangers that this uh, Wuhan waltz is bringing. Too much dancing, I'll kill you, sort of thing. And the mics are on. Now I'm not sure if they were aware of that, or if they were. It was just uh, the regular mainstream media news hacks there, or the talking heads there. But you'll have to listen to what they said. And as I'm listening to these people, I'm thinking, these are the ones who were, their information is initiating all the lockdowns, all the masking, all of the vaccination rush, all of the stupid stuff. They never tell you what you can do to look after your, system, your immune system, build it up. Uh, but these are one of the two of the experts that this fellow was talking about. Thousands of experts in the world. And, uh, hey, you got to follow what they say. Well, just tell me what you think after watching this brief link. It's hilarious. Well, it's sad, really, because that's what we've been saying for a long time. People have us, uh, we're all obediently obeying bullshit sort of thing. And prefacing that with, if you're in a senior's home and you're not well, you have uh, something else going on, you want to be careful with any, vi any, any virus, any, and especially this one, is it, uh, uh, because they're not giving you vitamin D when you go in, or anything, or ivermectin, anything that people have shown works, uh, they're waiting for a ventilator opening, sort of crazy. Believe me, it's sort of crazy. Uh, you'll notice they didn't do that with Boris Johnson. They didn't do that with Donald Trump. 
didn't do that with uh, Giuliani. The wealthy people are, are getting some treatment. So uh, that's interesting. And that sort of leads into the last, uh, the last one. And the last one was, is the guy who lived, American who lives in the Netherlands. They're going on a five-week shutdown. Think about that. After listening to the two clowns in the second clip, and just sort of close your eyes and think, well, why are we locking the place down for five weeks? You see, there's something really more to this. You tie this all back to the first one with the money, the death of money. I mean, most people are figuring it out. Most people are, are figuring out there's a, a lot at play here. A lot at play. And, when, and uh, it's interesting because when we're going back up to the first link to money, and again this gentleman was going on and on about how concerned Hunter Biden is uh, about his lawsuit and how kind and how religious and how benevolent Joe Biden is. And I'm thinking, where has this guy been? Has he just arrived on the planet? But no, he's been here, as, well, not as long as I have, but he's been here for quite a while. And, uh, you know, the, the sad thing is, over half the population think like he does. And they tell me that uh, the people who think like I do, that we're in a conspiracy theory. Even though we can see all of the shenanigans going on. Hey, don't, don't look at it. Hold your... If you do this, you can't see it. It's not happening. But if you do look, well, hey, you're a conspiracy theory. Conspira conspiracy theorist. Uh, so he did go on to say that uh, Hunter, Hunter Biden was really concerned, really concerned about his, uh, his lawsuit, you know, his tax lawsuit. And I figure he probably is. Now, isn't that, wasn't that how they nailed uh, Al Capote? Was through taxes? Tax evasion? They had, uh, didn't want to, I guess, dig around the, uh, the wine whiskey bottles and go the other route, but they nailed him for tax evasion. I think that was part of the start of his downfall. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think so. So anyway, money, open mic doctors, and the Netherlands. And of course, hey, we just watched a couple of governors talking about how you're going to have to shut down for Christmas. In British Columbia... Uh, if you have more too many people in your house, they're gonna, they're gonna, you're gonna get billed, and if you don't pay it, what did they say? If you don't pay it, we'll be sending the collectors to your door. It's crazy times, folks. Crazy times. And hey, just got a rocket 58 delivered, and uh, by the Fed up people, the FedEx guys. And I think they might have dropped it because the, the whole machine is sort of wonky. So I'm going to see if I can get that fixed up, get this loaded, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.